Yeah, we're walking around Heydays, checking out all the stuff that's new. Let's go check out what's new at Ski Doo. Welcome to Heydays 2019. Yesterday we introduced the new Ski Doo race sled. So we'll go over some of the changes that were a part of that package. You'll notice on the front of the vehicle right now, we've turned the shock reservoirs inward. Reason being is if you get into a first turn, sometimes it get kind of messy in there. We don't want anybody getting hit in the side and knocking off the reservoir and actually breaking it. The new base valve has high and low speed compression adjustments, plus high and low speed rebound adjustments. We also have a new rail design this year. It's a little sturdier. I mean, uh, the snow cross races, they're really hard on equipment, so you get to find the limits of stuff really quickly. We've added a new brake backer plate in here. Holds the brake a little more rigid. It's easier to service that way. The more we can do to keep the sled durable and easy for the riders to maintain, the better. Last year was really successful for the ski to race team. This year with some of the changes we've made to the sled, we expect it to be even better. Uh, it's been very durable for us, it's been very fast. So all the changes we've made have take that next step because in racing, nothing ever stands still. Hey guys, Jay Menaberry here, standing next to this beautiful Summit Expert. We've got Kashima coated shocks with a little bit stiffer valving package, so it really improves the handling. Smaller bar diameter, which is a small detail, but I really, really liked that last spring when I rode it. Shorter riser, which is sweet for technical riding. Got an adjustable limiter strap, so you can change the way the sled transfers, you know, almost on the fly, so that's really cool. A shorter tunnel package, which makes the sled more nimble. You know, it doesn't drag through the snow as much. So this sled is built for the technical tree rider, you know, deep snow, big mountain stuff. I cannot wait to ride mine. You know, there's a lot of excitement over here at Polaris with their new Riot snow bike kits to their expansion of their 850s. So let's go check it all out. You know, I had to come and sit on the chaos and bring back a little memories from this spring riding and putting some miles on these. Uh, this is a very fun sled. It's playful, but yet it holds a line, and the 850 power plant is an absolute riot. So I'm pretty stoked on the new Little Ripper. I think I'm more stoked because I'm going to ride it, but I originally I got it for my son, and I feel like I'm going to have more fun on it. But yeah, stoked to you know have a kit that my kid can follow me around when we go trail riding and stuff, and uh, you know get him started in the passion that I love. One of the riders in the video that you can see online said it's just like my dirt bike. Um, when you ride it, you're, you're active on the bike. Your 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 body movements translate into traction and, and uh, terrain changes. It's got all of the drivetrain updates, so the jack shaft um, is more compact. There's less moving parts. Um, Riot comes in two models. Uh, this is the base model with timber sled, fully rebuildable aluminum body IFP shocks. Uh, these are timber sled design shocks. And then the LE model comes in colors, and it's got QS3 shocks that lets you adjust the uh, the personality of the bike, depending on the terrain that you're in, if you want a hill climb, um, if you want a wheelie more, you can set it up for wheelie mode, just soft in the back and stiff in the front, uh, or bombing down the trail. It gives you a lot of different options, uh, just in three clicks on each shock. Making everyone jealous. It's killer, uh, killer heydays this year. So cool to see. I mean, everybody is so fired up for winter this year, and it's awesome to see.